So Asher and I are going out. Say hi. Say hi everybody. Hi. Asher and I are going out to the big pasture that I've had shut off for a few days. But I want to show you guys all this right here. This is like almost three feet tall, this amaranth. And it's all popped up here just in the last 10 days to two weeks. And uh, it's all because of the rain that we've been getting. It just, uh, don't chase her. Don't chase her, it's okay. Stuff grows really, really fast uh, when we actually have water here. Come on, Asher. Come on. So, we're gonna go out into the big pasture there and uh, it's been about, I don't know, four or five days since I've had the pigs out here. So we're gonna take a look and see what's growing, if anything. Hey. So out here, on the back half or the, the western half, I would say, from where the from where the driveway fence is, we're starting to see some grasses. Like this little this little lull right here is full of grasses actually. And there's still a lot of just uh, annual uh, weeds and things like that that are popping up. But it's good to see that there are grasses coming in here. So the idea is that I'll, I'll give this area a good amount of time. I don't know what that actually is. It's just going to depend on what access my pigs have over uh onto my neighbor's property if that if if they're behaving themselves over there then i'll continue to let them graze over there and that place is like super lush and i'll get a i'll get a shot of that and also try to find a picture from this time last year to show you the difference um, in uh, how much difference there is with uh, green or lack thereof for last year because we hadn't had a single rain to this point last year and now this is probably one of the wettest um, years that they've had uh, for rainfall up to date so here, come here, come this way. Asher, come this way. Let's walk this way. Come on. So something I haven't talked about um, on any of my videos, but I will touch on it today, is the fact that I actually... So we, we own two separate 20-acre parcels. And the way that I've chosen to fence them off is basically going all the way up to that common property line. What are you doing? So behind me you see, this is the Western 20. And then I've got a neighbor over there. I don't know if you can see the, the roof over there. Whoa, what? What's over there? But uh, I was approached by one of the sons of my neighbor next door here, who this is an elderly lady that lives next to me. And her sons also are ranchers. And the old man that used to live here, her husband, and they've got other ranches too, but he, he did some, he ran some cattle on this property as well. Asher, come here. Come here. Let's walk this way. Come on, Bubby. Come on, Bubba. Asher. Come here. And so I was approached by the eldest son and uh, 
he wanted to know if I was willing to lease this land out to him so that he can basically open up the fence line and allow the cattle that they've got over there to come over here and graze additional because they had nothing over there for them to eat and I've got a bunch of mesquite trees on on this part of the property and uh, at the time it was just just brown old weeds that weren't really good for for them to eat but when these mesquite trees come in bloom they'll eat the mesquite blooms and the benefit to me is I've got hoof prints breaking up the soil cap and they're depositing uh, manure and partly fertilizing this property and since this isn't their main piece of property and in fact I've only seen them over here a handful of times probably um, there's no water or anything over here so they don't really kind of, they don't really loiter on my property they just kind of come and and they'll do a, a one pass and then they go back over to their to their main property so it's not it's not a concern of real over uh, over grazing or anything like that but oh here we go here's a nice little patch of grass you gonna show them the grass you show them the grass? Uh-oh. Tripping on sticks. I gotta keep one eye out for him for rattlesnakes and stuff, so if I'm not looking at the camera too much, that, that's gonna be the reason. Oh, we're coming up on another big area of grass. So anyway, um, I struck a deal back in March, I think it was, and uh, one of the conditions was that he would come through and finish fencing this so that the back 10 that I've got on, on this 20 um, was fenced off and his cows weren't going to come in there. And if I have the opportunity to get some electric fencing, then I might actually let my pigs back there. But for the most part, there's not much growing back on that back 10. Um, and some of that I believe is because there just have, hasn't been, I haven't really grazed my pigs back there at all other than just letting them loose. Um, here's a nice little gra grass patch here too. Asher, stay over here, please. It looks like there's a nice little, nice little patch of grass over here. Asher, come here, come here, come here, come with me. Hey, 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 hey. You need to listen. I know. Making him do something he doesn't want to do. You're okay. You're okay. So this actually, this little patch of green here is kind of mixed. I could see some grass in there, but it's a lot of the, the amaranth popping up. So what I'm seeing is a lot of the areas that my pigs have been grazing has been getting some grass popping up in it. And the areas that they haven't been grazing is just the weeds and things so i don't know how much of that is they're they're getting seed and the hay that they get and then so then they're depositing it out here but most of the hay that they get is alfalfa so i don't think that that's the i don't think that's the reason i think that they're just coming through and breaking up the cap enough to where the the seed that's already there can actually establish itself so hopefully i don't ruin this and uh overgraze them in this area going forward once i do open this back up to them because at some point i'll open this up and 
give the the smaller area a rest but uh, they haven't really they haven't been grazing on that at all because I've been letting them out to my neighbor's property and they just kind of go right th straight through and uh, they go right straight through to his property and don't really I haven't seen any rooting on the grass or anything like that so that's the update post post rainfall uh, we did actually have some good drizzle days for the last couple days here's a nice little patch of grass right here too by the door this is a heavy foot traffic area for them so yeah that's gonna I think that's gonna do it for today's update and uh, I'll get to where I can keep my eye on this guy so he can freely explore and not not have to worry about anybody hurting him or anything like that so I'm gonna sign off if you like this video please give us a thumbs up please comment on this video subscribe to our channel and click the bell notification so that you're notified when we have new content released as always thanks for joining us and god bless